Hey, beer tubers! This is Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Today, I'm joined with my cousin Joe, and we're we're gonna look at Ballast Points Wahoo Wheat Beer. So it's been sitting in my fridge long enough that uh, we need to drink it up. So uh, Joe's a big fan of Belgian style beers, wheat beers, all that kind of thing. So we're gonna get this open and take a look at it. All right, I'll pour yours first. He doesn't like the yeast as much, but I'm trying to get him uh, to at least drink his Hefeweizen and stuff with yeast. I gotta get used to the yeast in my <laughs> I don't like the clumps at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I only have one wheat glass, so he's gonna use my Alaglash snifter. And uh, this is an unfiltered beer. They say it's unfiltered Belgian style wheat beer. So it's kind of like a Hefeweizen, it's like a cross between a Hefeweizen and a, and a whip beer since it's an American style. And you're going to get some yeast in there and I will as well. But usually I'm not a fan of American style wheat beers. But they say it's a spiced with coriander, orange peel, and curacao, which I guess is, I looked it up, but as far as I can tell it's a liqueur, like an orange liqueur from that country. And that's the best I can do with it, but you're also using... Um, Small and malted wheat and oats in there as well. So let's get the appearance on it. It's got a pretty yellow orangey here. Yeah, well, it's hazy. It's real hazy because I it put is. some yeast in there. It was pretty clear before we dumped the yeast in there. But it's not like a chunky yeast. Yeah. It, it mixes in there. It looks what? Kind of like lemonade. It starts out pretty it's, yellow and then it gets orange as you pour more yeast yeah. in there. Exactly. Get a. Uh, nah, we didn't get much of a head on there, but it's pretty, pretty eggshell white. Yeah. We got like a pinky's worth. Some small bubbles. All right. Let's get the nose on it. So I'm getting the, right up front you get the wheat, the wheat smell, the yeasty it's readiness. It's refreshing. It's nice. Yeah, that's a refre great summer refreshing beer. Um, it's been a while since we had it, but we, we've tried it before. And uh, Ballast Point is of course located down in San Diego. Unfortunately, in the last video they were closed, so we didn't get there. Anniversary party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stupid anniversary party was gone. But uh, this label has since been updated with their new style, so it's kind of an older beer, so hopefully it still tastes pretty good. Some lemon hints on there. Yeah, you get some citrus quality, of course, from the, the orange peel and the, the curacao, I guess. But I mean, it's pretty decent smell. Let's uh, dig in. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, trying to take a sip. Oh, well. <laughs> so it's uh, right up front, it's just re refreshing beer. I mean, that's. It's kind of a, it's a thinner kind of mouthfeel to it. Yeah. Thin, thin to kind of medium, medium mm -hmm. thin. Not the mo most robust beer, but most of these are maybe medium at best, but I'm gonna throw up a little more here. Yeah, it's not, it's not as carbonated as I remember it being from the tap, so. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of carbonation coming off the bottom. The doled down wheat. Well, what's nice is everything kind of works together, like nothing's too standing out. It makes everything, like, I, yeah. like a, I haven't had a, the best uh, wheat beer I've had was um, Three Floyd's Gumball then, because they hopped it, but there's no, there's no hop character to this one. It's sort of traditionalist style, but it's sort of that blend between a, a wit beer and a Hefeweizen. And kind of minimal lacing. Because you don't really get, I mean, you get a little spice from the yeast, mm -hmm. but it's mostly breadiness. And then like, it's calm. It's nothing that stands out. Yeah, like the coriander's not strong. Yeah, it's I almost don't notice coriander. It's it's in there a little bit, but it, it kind of blends together. I think with the, uh, the orange peel. It's a pretty warm day, so yeah, it's very clean. Uh, up front, you get the breadiness. It stays cloudy. And then like midway through, you start to get some of that little bit of the spice character. And to me, it finishes. On the drier stuff, is your mouth kind of like a little dry after tasting? It doesn't linger yeah. a lot. Yeah, it's, it's tasteless afterwards, it seems. Not tasteless. So for me, that makes me want to drink more. Yeah, it's instead of... <laughs> yeah, it's instead of drink more. You don't get that lingering finish. And then at the end, I, well, for me, at the end, I get like the, the citrus kind of character to it. A little, like, oranginess. Mm. It's not like a, like a soury kind of citrus character. It's just kind of like a real, kind of like a fr more fruity, orangey kind of... Yeah. Taste going on. But it's, it's a real quick mouthfeel too. It's kinda like 
front, middle, and then just real quick fade out. It's smooth, that's for sure. No, it's very smooth, very drinkable. Yeah. Um, it's too bad I didn't have a fresh bottle of this because I think it would drink a little better. Off tap it, this is... How long has this one been in the fridge? I've probably had this in for a couple months now. Mm. Which, oh, I forgot to mention the alcohol by volume on this one. I think it's pretty low. Uh, they always hide it on these bottles. <laughs> oh, you know what? This one must be so low that they don't put it on the bottle. And now I'm going to have to put it on the screen. Because I think it's a law in California that It'll pop up. if a beer is 5.7% ABV or lower, you don't have to post it on the bottle. So it's going to be under 5.7. Interesting. I think it's like 5, 5.5 maybe on this. But a real sessionable beer. This this and their uh, yellowtail pale are like perfect summer beers. Yeah. And uh, so I don't know, what, do you, what would you grade would you give this? In terms of like, it's not technically a wit beer, you can't really compare it to like Allagash. Okay. And um, and that kind of thing, but it's, and it's beyond, it's you know, it's that kind of, sort of the hybrid between German and Belgian styles. Yeah. I don't know, but, um, I'd say a B, maybe. Comparable to average uh, beer? Yeah. Comparable to the other wheat beers, I'd, I'd give it a B. No? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, this bottle, I'm going to give a B minus, but I think overall it's probably a B. But I mean, that's kind of minor. On par. It's above average beer. I mean, it's one of the better American style uh, wheat beers I've had. Hmm. I mean, I, I, if you compare it to some of the, the wheat beers like an Allagash for American style, it doesn't compete with that. But yeah. as, as a. It's smooth. It, that's... As, like, as just a wheat beer, American wheat beer. Not really a Hefeweizen, like Carl Strauss has pretty awesome Hefeweizen. Yeah. And I thought the one at, at Lightning was pretty good too. Yeah, it's unique, that's for sure. But yeah, so uh, we'll let's give this one uh, an overall B from, from the both of us. And uh, so comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to get him to do some more reviews because <laughs> I got him sucked into this whole thing. So anyway, until next time, cheers.